All right, today was supposed to be the day the state of Idaho opened up its access to the COVID-19 vaccine and opened it up to those 65 and older, meaning more than 250,000 Idahoans were suddenly eligible and were supposed to have the option to sign up for shots beginning at 8 a.m. But just like that morning in February every year when tens of thousands of runners sprint to their computers to fill the only 2300 or so spots in the race to Roby Creek that takes place every April. Well, those allotments, they filled up fast, too fast for some. For example, according to St. Luke's, 100,000 tried to schedule through their website MyChart this morning, and they only had 1,500 spots available. So their system didn't handle that too well. In fact, their phone system was shut down because of the call volume from people wanting to sign up but couldn't. Now, this is probably a good time in this story to point out the state of Idaho is supposed to be getting at least 20,950 doses of vaccine a week. At least that's the number we were told two weeks ago. When we asked how many we are actually getting per week right now, we were told Idaho is receiving fewer than 25,000 doses per week from the federal government. More than we were expecting to get in mid-January, maybe, but not as many as we should be getting if we were accounted for by population. Apparently, our allotment is based on the number of people who are 18 and older, according to the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare. And we have a lot of kids in this state, it seems. So what we are actually getting is less than that if it was relative to the total 1.8 million or so who live here. And even at that rate, only those over 18 formula, even at that only those over 18 formula, that we should be getting more than we are getting now. We'll have more on that in a moment, but fewer than 25,000 doses a week. And if more than 100,000 try to sign up for the first week, they are eligible. Well, safe to say there won't be enough spots and shots to go around. Well, here's what we need to remember, though. Unlike the race to Roby Creek, which only takes place once a year, there will be another race next week, meaning if you didn't make it into this week, they ask you to keep checking back periodically. They say the best bet is to check back on Mondays when they have the most volume available. And yes, it's vitally important for those for a lot of the people to get this vaccine, but health districts are requesting us to let the medically frail and very elderly get theirs first. Jerry and Carol Larson, well, they'd fall into that category, the high end of the high risk category. They'd be our bright spot in all of this disappointment today because they got their first vaccine this morning. Jerry will be 90 in June and Carol, his wife will be 86 in April. They told us they have been trying for weeks to get signed up to get a shot and kept running into snags. Either they didn't think it was their turn yet or when they did try through St. Alphonsus's website, they never got a call back about an appointment. So Jerry said he called them last Thursday, which just happened to be Larson's the Larson's 65th wedding anniversary. And they are so thankful Mindy, who is helping them navigate this process, could give them something else to celebrate. Well, I said, you know, um, this is the best present we've ever had on an anniversary. <laughs> and I was almost crying because, you know, it's been almost a year since this COVID and it's been tough, especially on older people that can't get out and around and, you know. Later on this last weekend, she called and said, I got good news and bad news. I said, well, what's the bad news? She said, oh. we're going to run out of vaccine by the 5th. Right. What's the good news? She says, we're moving you up till <laughs> 1030 on Monday. So that was another blessing. <laughs> so that's what, that's why we went this morning. So how does it feel now? I mean, it's been a matter of hours since you've had the shot, right? Oh, well, we're feeling good. Oh, yeah. And my arm doesn't hurt. No, nothing. <laughs> no, we're, it's just like a big load. Has oh, been left it's just like somebody arm. took this heavy thing off my shoulders. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And it was I get emotional about it, so I can't talk about it. <laughs> All right, I have to say, Jerry, if a shot in the arm is the best anniversary present that Carol has ever received, that's not saying a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still the best one. <laughs> she usually gets flowers, but uh, but I'd, I'd have to say uh, it probably beats anything I've ever given her. Jerry and Carol also said they went out for a blizzard from Dairy Queen on that Thursday to mark their blue sapphire anniversary, and they are booked for their second dose coming up on February 20th, which brings us back to the issue with signing up for a shot. As you heard Jerry and Carol talk about, they were supposed to get one this Friday, but they were told they weren't going to have enough vaccine to last till then, so they moved up to Monday. And until we get an increase in supply, which is still fewer than those 25,000 doses a week for the entire state, there's going to be a log jam to log in. 
Health and Welfare tell us they are working with our federal partners to find out why we are not only getting an increase in supply, but we're getting less than what we should be getting anyway. So there's still a lot of unanswered questions out there. So to reiterate, their goal is to inoculate those most at risk first, and they urge you to keep checking back with your health provider to find out about availability. Again, Mondays are the best when they have the most vaccine volume. And if we all take our time, we should all be able to get over this Aldape Summit like course we're on to get everyone who wants a shot a shot. Just like that race to Roby, we'll get through it if we take it in segments.